Now, you cannot celebrate South African engineering excellence without mentioning this prestigious Global Award recipient. Now, Dinesh Chaitu recently won an award for excellence in engineering consulting services at the Global Corporate Livewire Innovative and Excellence Awards 2016 for his exceptional skill and knowledge in his profession. Tonight, we learn more from Dinesh about infrastructure development and civil engineering entrepreneurship. Welcome to the show, Mr. Chaitu. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Wow, from a, from a lecturer to, to an entrepreneur. Can, can you tell us a bit about your background? Where, where are you from? All right, um, okay, I come from a town called Tongat. Tongat in, in the KZN. In KZN, uh, humble beginnings, of course. And then it was a difficult phase uh, initially until we all got to tertiary education and what did you study studied at uh, it was first um, ml sultan technicon yeah and now it's department uh, well, dut dut yeah, DUT, yeah. DUT, yeah. Durban University, University, of University of technology, technology yes and uh, i mean looking at it from the academic side i've studied civil engineering graduated in civil engineering and i've been working for the past 20 years Right, so I have 20 years of experience in yeah. terms of the civil engineering uh, discipline or the fraternity itself. And since March 2013, I had been given this opportunity of lecturing. So I am yeah. one of the youngest uh, lecturers at UNISA. Yeah. I'm lecturing uh, two civil engineering modules, which is a challenge, but I'm willing to take that on. That's very interesting. I mean, from lecturing to, to, to entrepreneurship, but have you always had that entrepreneurial bug? Um, by, maybe did it bite you when you were still young, or you've never really thought that you'd become an entrepreneur? Is it something that came on just recently? Uh, it did come in recently, but it was always in there. But it was all about experience first, mm. and then you start your practice. And that was what it was all about for the past 20 years since I've been in employment. So you were learning. Companies, learning, getting all the necessary skill sets up to the point where now I'm ready to take on all the necessary challenges in South Africa and Africa. So there you were working in the engineering um, industry, making money. What an opportunity to come and lecture. That, cause that's selfless. It takes uh, somebody who's selfless to go and share knowledge with students. So wh what made you make that decision to go and lecture? Um, I always believe that, you know, whatever you have, you must always give. So knowledge is something that I have knowledge, so I would always like to part that knowledge. Yeah. So in terms of me giving back to society, yeah. lecturing is, for me, the medium. And then the entrepreneurship, um, the, the, the opportunity for you to start your own business, what happened? Right. You see, from taking lecturing as a, a component in terms of my career development, the... Um, entrepreneurship, starting a business, it all boiled down to innovation. So I've got that innovative, I've got that conceptual mindset, whereby you think, you think of something, if you can dream it, you can do it. Yeah. Right, so I've always dreamt, now at some point I'm gonna start, I'm gonna leave a legacy behind. Yeah. I don't wanna work in a, in a corporate, in, in, I work for mega companies, major global firms, for the majority of my career. I've learned, I've got all that experience now, and, and the main aspect in terms of you know, taking back in terms of entrepreneurship is that now you've got that skill set and now you want to develop it and, and, and ensure that you, know, you can succeed. And, and, and when did you start your business? While you were lecturing, before or after? Um, the business started in 2013. Yeah. Right, so it was, it's fairly recent. Okay. Right, but I, I have been in employment, so I've officially joined the business in April, or May 2016. Okay, so also the business was there. It was there, but I couldn't obviously. Uh, conflict uh, of interest. Yeah. Conflict of interest. So, so your business partners were running it. Uh, correct. Okay, and correct. then you obviously came on board. Yes. Wh what made you think that you'd succeed as an entrepreneur? I have a dream, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, I, and I always believe in, in, in never give up, right? Uh, if, if you have that, uh, that drive, the, especially like, the passion for knowledge. And, and you look at all the challenges out there, especially in terms of our uh, social responsibility as engineers. We need to take our social responsibilities in terms of 
what's happening out there in the built environment sector, especially the, the infrastructure. You look at the infrastructure in South Africa versus the infrastructure in Africa per se. I, I looked at all those and I've got extensive experience in Africa. So I've traveled many countries in, in many continent. countries yes. throughout the continent. Yes. So I've got all that necessary uh, knowledge now, the yes. knowledge base to start and say, no, no I've, I've developed a certain niche now in terms of uh, what is expected in, in this discipline and I want to take it further. What exactly does Chai2 Engineering do? What do you guys do? We, we do civil engineering, uh, consultancy, uh, as well as project management. So if you're talking civil engineering consultancy, we offer a range of services. The range of services include um, structural engineering, civil engineering, uh, your roads, infrastructure, etc., uh, rail infrastructure, water infrastructure. Uh, we also offer the project management uh, aspects in terms of uh, assisting our developing contractors out there in terms of uh, getting them you know, up and ready in terms of taking on the challenges. There's a lot of contractors out there that are actually failing, yeah. right? But what we are offering is, now we can see you guys are at this point, uh, you are challenged, so we go in to assist them in terms of developing them and getting them to a point where they are self-sustaining. And, th and then tell me about this, um, the Innovation of Excellence Award. Okay, the Innovation and Excellence Awards uh, 2016, it was, uh, uh, it's hosted by Corporate Livewire that's based in the UK. And it's uh, recognizing individuals and businesses th globally in terms of uh, what they've achieved. Yeah. Right? So in terms of my achievements, I've done many publications. I've done a lot of, uh, uh, I've been presenting at conferences globally. One of the highlights, which I'd like to express. Yeah, uh, no, go right ahead. Yeah, of course. One of my highlights was getting a, a, a letter from Hampton University in Virginia, USA, where they've expressed uh, myself to come and present a paper at their conference. For me, that was one of my highlights. Yeah. Right? I've done many other publications, uh, presented papers in Spain, etc. So the, the award, uh, in terms of the category that I've won it, is for Africa and Middle East. So mm. they looked at the, the criteria is quite stringent, of course, but there's a, there's a book in terms of, uh, you know, what, how they've judged yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the entire uh, the award itself. But in terms of the experience, they look at it from the experience perspective. What have you done to make things better? Yes. Right. So and every industry this has is got its innovation. Industry has, every industry has got, its, it's got its own challenges. Exactly. Especially on our continent. I mean, exactly. we know we've, we've got a lot of, um, and exactly. it's good that you're in civil engineering because we've yes. got a lot of infrastructure issues and there's yes. a lot of different things that make it um, mm -hmm. not as easy as it should yeah. be to do business. So and are you, have you experienced any, any of those challenges? Yes, there's plenty of challenges out there. Yeah. Right, I mean, if you look at the, the current, the biggest challenge that we experience right now, right, in terms of infrastructure development, I feel, in my opinion, is the lack of asset management. Now, what is asset management? Asset management, uh, uh, I'm talking specifically to infrastructure asset management yeah. uh, in, in my discipline. So infrastructure is your roads, your rail, your buildings, and so forth. And we need to take care of it. So our local authorities, etc., need to understand that we need to take care of our aging infrastructure. Yeah. Right, so that is a, a, a challenge that I've seen in the last two to three years, of which I've tackled it head on. And that's the reason why we at Chetu, we look at infrastructure asset management as as one of our key challenges in terms of how to tackle the market. Now you've been, you've been doing very well in South Africa. Any plans of growing to the rest of the continent or globe? Um, Seeing that you're getting yeah. recognized overseas? I, I've worked extensively in Africa, yeah. right? I've worked on projects in, in Liberia, in Uganda. I'm currently busy with the government of Cameroon. Yeah. Uh, I'm busy with the government of Botswana. So Chai 2 is doing work in, in the continent? Correct. Okay. Uh, we, we're busy engaging in terms of innovation yeah 
So we assisting governments in terms of we understand their challenges. We, we're not doing everything. We're just tackling a, a specific, like the housing Need. challenge in Botswana. Yeah. So we're talking to the, the necessary departments and we've already engaged to, to the next level. We have done this, a similar thing in Cameroon, the government of Cameroon. Uh, my intention is to go into or back into Mozambique. I've got extensive experience on projects in Mozambique uh, with my previous employers. Yeah. But now I've got my contacts out there as well. So I want, also want to digress or diversify into that uh, country beautiful. as well. So you've got people in Kenya, Nigeria, the whole continent watching now who would like to be exposed to a little bit more of your work. What, what is your website? It's www.chaitu, that's C-H-A-I-T-H-O-O.com. So chaitu.com. So that's C-H-A-I and then T-H-O-O. Okay, chaitu.com. Mr. Dinesh Chaitu joining us on the, the uh, Kicking Doors with Subuliope. And before I let you go, I'd like for you to, uh, I'm going to ask you to give us your 60 seconds to success to some of my viewers out there at home. Your 60 seconds to success to that camera over there. Your 60 seconds of success starts now. Never give up. You know, uh, we all have challenges in life, but my advice is never give up. We have, uh, we need to be motivated. We need to be aspired by others. Look at um, the individuals around you, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's uh, peop like-minded people. But the thing is, you know, Rome was not built overnight. That's a common saying and slowly but surely you will reach there. Patience is a virtue. Thank you yeah. very much, sir. That's Dinesh Chaitu on Kicking Doors with Subul